Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Go So Beautiful. My name's Becky, and today is a Saturday edition of Friday Sews. Shout out to Jen from today in Jen's showing room for creating the hashtag Friday Sews, which is um, just a kind of a platform for for YouTubers with sewing channels to um, share what we've been working on and what we're going to work on and maybe a little bit about life. Anyway, I haven't done a Friday Sews in a while and I was traveling yesterday and really busy on Thursday. So today I'm sharing my Friday Sews on Saturday. If you're new to my channel, I appreciate you stopping by to check me out. If you've already subscribed, I appreciate you coming back. I'm a little late to the party, but today I want to share my Sew Frugal 22 um, outfit that I made for the challenge that Sam from Frugalissima and Ruan from the Yorkshire Sew Girl hosted uh, in the month of March. Um, I was really kind of pleased with what the way it came out. Um, I'll put some pictures of me, but I'm, first I'm going to show it to you on the hanger. These are the Cass Wide Leg Culottes from, from FabricStore.com. And I was really surprised with this, although these are culottes, because I am only five foot three inches tall they come down to my ankles and they are really wide leg they really in the picture for the pattern that doesn't really show how wide legged they are but they are very wide legged and normally I would not want to make the pants I have made in the past that were wide leg did not come out very well but these are for some reason they're they're cut just right and they do have inseam pockets on the sides and an elastic waist with um, I believe it's supposed to be a, a two inch wide waistband but um, I ended up using an, a one and a half inch and they just I really just like the way they fit I used an old black linen actually this isn't the oldest black linen that I had in my stash this was actually kind of a wearable twall because I didn't want to cut into that if I didn't like the way the pants were. So this was just um, a real inexpensive linen that I got and um, it turns out um, it's very wearable. So I made these and then I wanted to make something to go with it. So I found another pattern from fabricstore.com and I believe this is the Augustina shirt. It's really just a very boxy t-shirt with a, you can slip it on right over your head, um, bias bind the neckline, and then it's got these cuffs on the sleeves that are grown on. And when I first put it on, it was really very wide and boxy, and I just didn't feel like it gave me much shape at all. So I um, added these tucks, I don't know if you can see that on camera, in the front and in the back, and I think that helped it give it a little bit of a shape. I just measured um, down from my shoulder seam to the apex of my bust, and then I measured over from the side seam to the apex, and then I put the tucks in about two inches below that and I think I made about a two inch tuck. Right, right there, that's what it looks like. And then um, this fabric is another fabric I got at the a discount. I think it's kind of like a, a seersucker. And I thought the black and white gingham check is um, went with that very well. So um, I'll put some pictures of me wearing that and um, I didn't win any prizes but 
I did get a really nice outfit. So that was a lot of fun. The next thing I worked on, um, I hadn't really, I think I mentioned it in my plans and I had asked if y'all wanted me to make it, if y'all thought I should make it out of a blue double gauze with some white ditzy flowers or um, this lavender with white daisies, um, rayon chalet. And I ended up, most people voted for the blue double gauze, but I ended up making a dress out of that because I had, I didn't want to use just a small amount of it to make um, the ermine blouse. That's what I made, the ermine blouse from Fiber Mood. So I ended up using this purple rayon chalet and I really like the way this came out. Um, it's not a hard sew, really. It's got a um, an angled yoke in the front with gathers over the bust. And I thought that might look a little bit awkward, but it, I really think it's very pretty. And then it's got a back yoke with gathers across the back and then a gathered sleeve. And it's just got a turned up hem at the sleeve. And then it's got a sewn on button placket. And, um, I actually lined the yoke. They do not have uh, have you lining the yoke in the instructions, but I wanted, I felt like because this was rayon chalet, this would give it a little bit more stability because um, it's so drapey. And so I used the burrito method and lined the front and the back yoke. And I'm glad I did that. And then when you sew the button placket on, they actually want you to put a seam on the, stitch it to the inside first and then stitch it to the outside. And I did the opposite because I couldn't get the, you have to iron this front placket and I couldn't get it to be a really nice, even ironed seam to top stitch. So I just sewed it down and then did it on the other side. I don't know if that makes sense. And then I found these really cute little daisy buttons at Joann's to go with it. So I'll put a picture of me wearing that. And this is also one of my make nine slash 12 um, projects that was on my list. So I'm very pleased with that. It is a little bit long. I think if I make it again, I might shorten it. Um, I've sort of tried tucking it in um, halfway, but um, I don't know. I just, I think it's a pretty blouse. So the next thing I made, actually, I don't remember what else. But I've been wanting a pink t-shirt because the one I had from last year is a little bit too small. So I made McCall's, I can't remember the number, but I'll put a picture of it here. And it is, you have a, it's a simple to sew and you can make it as a cold shoulder top or a regular t-shirt. I don't really like the cold shoulder tops. I don't know why, but I just don't. And so I made the t-shirt in a, medium and graded out to a large, I think. And <clears throat> this fabric uh, is a cotton interlock knit from Joanne that I got. And it doesn't have a whole lot of recovery, but um, so when I put it on, it's a little bit big. So I think I'm gonna take it in. I don't have a picture of me in this, but after I take it in, I will. Um, the neck band, that I put on initially just wouldn't lay flat and I didn't like it. So I had this fold over elastic in my stash and I thought, I'm gonna try that fold over elastic. And it actually worked very nicely and it's not hard to put on really. I used my cover stitch machine and um, just put it all the way around. But again, like I said, it's, it's a little bit big on me. So I'll have to, take it in. 
And then the last thing, actually I made something else in between. This week I had been wanting to sew all week and I kept getting distracted and um, I did pick up a little project. I had decided I wanted to try and make myself some um, underpants, <laughs> which I won't show you. Um, I did make some, but um, they were a little bit, and I like them, but I think I need to make some adjustments. So I used a free pattern I found online from, I think it's called Sozo. Yeah. Anyway, I finally got to sit down and sew what I had been wanting to sew all week. And um, I, like I said, I kept getting distracted or having things to do in the morning. So on Thursday, I said, I am going to sit down and start sewing in the morning and I'm not going to quit till I finish. So I made, first made these jogger pants and I'll put a picture of me wearing the whole outfit they've just got elastic in the waist and sewn on pockets that sew to the outside and then they have cuffs at the bottom um, I suppose you could run this twill tape all the way around for a drawstring but I just put it there for looks and um, these fit me perfect. I did have to shorten the front crotch length by about an inch, but they fit perfectly. And again, this is kind of strange. It's got a pretty wide waistband, as you can see. It looks like it's almost three inches. And it called for an inch and a half wide elastic. And then it said you can stitch it down at the sides to keep it from twisting. Well, I didn't like that because I couldn't get the gathers evened out and I tried stitching it down all the way around and that didn't look right and I ended up having to pick all of that out which was it took me quite a while for something that should have been a quick sew but I went ahead and put two inch elastic in and that worked out perfectly and I don't think it's going to get twisted so I made that and then I made this top to go with it to have the perfect athleisure slash loungewear outfit and this is the Verity top from Style Arc and again it's got just a nice kind of a boxy shape with a curved hem that has a facing and that wasn't hard to do and then the sleeves and then kind of a loose turtleneck with a drawstring. So I made this because I had said I wanted to make a leisure outfit. And I realized that sort of sounded very 70s like when we men used to wear leisure suits. Um, so I know that now the term is loungewear or athleisure. But I made this in faux, this is called faux cashmere from Joanne. It's super soft and cozy. It's not quite as heavy as sweatshirt fleece, but it does have a fleece background. Uh, I mean, backing on the other side. And, um, and then it's just got a real smooth hand. Nice, not too much stretch, but just very comfortable. So I'm really pleased with that. And now for a little life update. Um, you may have noticed I'm not in my sewing room. I'm actually visiting my dad in Ohio, and this is the bedroom I grew up in. <laughs> now, it looks a lot different, of course, because I've moved out and it's been painted. It used to be purple at one point with purple shag carpeting. I think another time it was pink. So anyway, it's kind of fun to be here and since I'm in Ohio, it's still um, pretty chilly here. It's been in the, the high 30s and 40s. And on my way up here yesterday, I ran into some rain and sleet. And I thought maybe hail for a minute. But anyway, I'm just visiting here. Um, it's the end of spring break. But since I'm sort of semi-retired, I can stay until next week and visit with my dad and my sisters and um, we're just gonna have a fun time. I did bring 
some stuff to sew because um, my dad, we get along fine, but I just need to have something else to do. Plus, my mom's old sewing machine is here, so I get to sew on. I'm going to use that and try to just make a few things for fun. So anyway, I appreciate you um, watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I hope you all have a lovely weekend and get some sewing in. Go so beautiful. Bye-bye.